Biggest mistakes when building a house part five. Understand contracts and time commitments associated with it. Having met with a lot of different builders, having chatted with them, a lot of them have varying contracts degrees and varying timelines that are associated with those. Some builders, the second they have it in your contract, you're required to list your home if you're gonna sell within 90 days. Some of them are super flexible on that. But one of my clients was able to sell his house for more than what he's able to buy his new house for because we saw a lot of appreciation as that took place in the 10 month under contract phase. If he would have done that with another builder, then he would have sold it for probably forty or fifty thousand dollars less, and so he would have had to pay forty or fifty thousand dollars more for his house. So timelines and contracts can be affected in a number of different ways. So make sure that you're mapping it out so you can keep your commitments to the builder, and it's something that's feasible as well. The last thing is to understand your build time. Is your house going to be built in three months, or is it going to be built in a year? If it's going to be built in a year, odds are you have a little bit more time to build up the money to take care of it. If it's not. You know, it's going to come in quick the same way it would on a standard house. Follow for part six.